Hey friend, Graham Cochran here. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing you how to set up a membership site inside of Kajabi. Not an online course, but a membership site. I, I got a bunch of questions this week related to it, so it's on my mind in terms of functionally, if you use Kajabi, how do you get the content to them when they join? How do you integrate the community aspect of Kajabi, which is like a Facebook group, but all tightly uh, configured into Kajabi? How does that all work? And so what I thought I would do is show you how I'm doing it inside of Kajabi for one of my membership sites. If you don't have Kajabi already, what are you doing with your life? You should jump on the platform. It's my favorite tool. I use it for both of my businesses. So I love it. It has made my life easier. But I want to give you a 28-day free trial. If you haven't already joined Kajabi, they normally offer 14 days on their website to free trial and check it out. But if you use my affiliate link, you can get a 28-day free trial plus a bunch of bonus training videos called their 28-day challenge to help you make your first thousand bucks in those 28 days while you're using Kajabi for free, which is pretty awesome. So all of that is at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. I'll link to it also below the video. It is an affiliate link. So if you do the free trial and you like Kajabi, which you probably will because it's awesome, and if you stick around and then pay for Kajabi, part of your payment supports me and my channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's literally the same price as if you go directly through Kajabi's website. So grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. If you already have Kajabi, then you're awesome. Here's how it's set up. Inside of my product backend for this business, you see a few of my products, and you notice two things. You notice uh, Graham Six Figure Coaching, this blue product, and Graham Six Figure Community. And they are both my membership. They come together, but this is functionally the difference. If you want a really good membership, you got to understand memberships aren't just content. Like an online course is content, and yes, people come to a membership for content, but I think it was Ryan Lee who years ago said people come for the content, but they stay for the community. They come for the content, but they stay for the community. So having a community aspect to your membership is critical. Now, a lot of times these days, people are using Facebook groups, which is fine and great. If your people are on Facebook, I am finding more and more that my students aren't all on Facebook. Heck, I'm taking a year off of social media period, so I'm not even on Facebook. But a lot of my demographic aren't as interested in being on Facebook. And so having a Facebook group is actually limiting if that's your only community aspect of a membership. Kajabi has communities built in um, to their platform, which is beautiful. But the way it works, it's technically two separate products, okay? So product one, Graham Six Figure Coaching is where all the content lives. Product two, Graham Six Figure Community, where the community lives. Let me show you quickly how they integrate and how, what they look like together behind the scenes. I'll give you a little sneak peek, but then let me show you how to set that up inside of Kajabi. So the Six Figure Coaching product looks like this on my, on my web membership site, and this is where all the content is. This is where I'm giving them their latest masterclass, where I'm giving them a bunch of uh, bonus content, and there's a bonus course they get. And what I've done is integrate the community into this product. So there's actually a link they can click on that links over to the community product. And again, I'll show you all this in the back end in a minute. When you click on that, it's actually taking you to the community product. This is now a separate product, um, but I've had it integrated into the menu so it looks really seamless. And this is where people are chatting, dropping videos, asking questions, all that kind of stuff, sharing wins. This is the community aspect. So technically, this is my community product, whereas if I go back, I'm in the coaching product where all my content lives, and I just integrate them so it seems seamless for the end user, but it's really two Kajabi products all baked into one offer. So let's show you what that looks like in the back end. All right, so here I'm inside of one of my offers when I sell my six-figure coaching community, this is a monthly plan. And so there's the name of the plan. You pick your price, but included products are my six-figure coaching product. That's the one that showed my big old mug on the video, and that's where all the content lives. And the six-figure community product is what I call it, and that's the actual uh, Kajabi community. So when they buy this offer, and that's how you want to set it up, they get both products. It's two products in one offer. So I position it and sell it as just a membership because that's all it is. 
But on the technical back end, when they buy into that membership monthly or annually or whatever, they're getting access to two Kajabi products in the back end, but it's really one thing they're getting, right? But the way it's technically done in Kajabi is two products. So you wanna set up one product for your actual content where you have your welcome video, where you have um, all kinds of trainings, the stuff that's happening every month. This is even where I link to my monthly live Zoom calls, things like that. And then you want a community product, which is where they can ask questions, share wins, share quick issues. You can drop videos and gifts and all kinds of stuff. And then you want them tightly integrated so that they link to each other. So let's go into my partner dashboard and I'll show you how to set this up from fresh. So if you wanted to make a membership in Kajabi like that, you'd want to build two products. So we'd go to new product, and we would do membership to get started. We'll call it my membership. So now it's built the actual content part of the membership. If we preview this and see what this looks like. Oh, it's Kenny, right? So this is where you could tweak, you can obviously tweak the look of this. You can get rid of the menu, which I would. Um, you can have a welcome video, all their content can be here. I love this idea of having like some like announcement graphics on the side, by the way, you could link to like a product inside of your membership with like a special offer just for your members. That's actually a cool idea. Um, I should do that. So, um, this is where your like content would be. And then we need to go back and actually build a second product now. So let's go back to products and let's make the community product. So scroll down and you would choose a community, right? It literally says create a Facebook-like group for your members to communicate in. This is so important. So I'm gonna call this my community. And with the communities, they're real simple. Uh, what's cool is you can customize the sidebar um, to have information and graphics and stuff. And then you can add topics as well. So like I have topics like a share your wins topic, I have, I have different um, stages of growth in, for my members, and so there's a topic for each stage. I have a whole topic called Kajabi because I'm trying to convert most of my members to Kajabi, and most of them already are in Kajabi, so when we share Kajabi tips or have Kajabi questions inside of my membership for to help them with their business, they can ask Kajabi questions. So you could create all that there. If we take a look at our community, let's preview that. So there's no, there's no posts, obviously, right now, but the feed, this is where the feed is. We're all good to go. So... Now we've got the two products built um, inside of Kajabi. What we want to do then is create an offer that ties these products in together. So let's go to offers. Let's add a new offer. And this is where you would name it the name of your membership, my membership, and I'm gonna put monthly. Because again, they don't think of it as two products. They think of buying one thing. I wanna join Graham's membership and I wanna pay whatever it is per month. So we're gonna do my membership and I like to do monthly for this offer because maybe you have an annual offer as well. Um, the products are gonna be um, my membership and we're gonna have to actually add another product. They only let you add one to start. So let's down here to included products. So we wanna include the membership product. We also wanna add another one, which is my community. Whoops, I clicked the wrong one. So now let's edit the price where we would set up the payment. So let's say you want this to be 25 bucks a month. Um, this is where you put the nice image for your offer for your membership. You can even include an upsell, of course, which is awesome if you wanted to upsell them like a sweet discount on like a mini course that you have. Hint, hint, hint. We just talked about mini courses a few weeks ago. If you had a mini course and maybe it was $97, you could have an upsell that's like the same mini course, but it's only $49. If you buy it right now while you're joining the membership, pretty cool idea. So one click upsells there. But now when they buy this offer and you get a checkout and you get a link for that offer, when they buy that, they're gonna get both products in their dashboard, in their library when they join. So what we wanna do is go back to the products now. Let's save this. Go to the products, membership, customize. And let's customize the membership real quick. And let's edit this little graphic and this is how you can integrate the community 
portion of the membership. So I wouldn't have this Facebook page thing. Again, this is old. This is before they had a community. I would change this graphic to be the community graphic. Jump into the community, ask your questions here, have some graphic or whatever. And when you have an image action, go to URL, right? Go to URL is, that's where you go to the community. So we go to the community. This is your URL. It's gonna be your do domain slash product slash community feed, whatever. So I would copy that. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna paste that URL and I'm gonna save. So now if I refresh, now if I'm inside the membership and I'm watching the welcome video and, and your beautiful face is in the welcome video and you say, hey, since you're here, one of the first things I want you to do is click over to the community and introduce yourself and you show them where so they click over here on this button and now they're in your community. But all they've done is hopped over to the other product that they have access to, but for them it's tightly integrated. And then you wanna do the same thing here in the community. So let's go there to that product and link it back to the content product. So we'll go to all products, my community. Let's customize sidebar, right? And this is where you can put, I would put a big image, but you could even take you know, some text and say, jump back into the content and you could highlight that and you could hyperlink that. What URL do you get for that? Well, you copy and paste the URL from your products. Let's go to your back to products and separate, <laughs> separate uh, tab here. Go to my membership, go to product. So now this is the URL up here for your content portion of the product. And we just link to that. Paste, okay, save, boom. So now if I refresh my community, here's that hyperlink. And better yet, if you had a big old image, like go back into the, the main membership area, click that. Now we're back in the content product. So you link the two and what it gives your users is a tightly integrated you know, experience. So it feels like it's just one product, even though technically in the back end, for your purposes, it is two products. And that's what I, I'd recommend you do. You, you set up the content portion and organize it nicely, just like you would almost like an online course in the membership product. Welcome them, add the monthly content, bonuses that they get, all that kind of stuff, but then link to the community because that's a big part of where the membership adds value and it's what keeps them coming back. And it's what allows you to really dive in with your members and find out how they're doing because it's living, it's breathing. And you can, the moment you post something, you can click a little box and it emails them and notifies them that they've got uh, a new uh, message from you. And then if you if you use their name, if you link their name with the at symbol inside of the, the feed, it emails them also and says, you've been mentioned, Graham's mentioned you in the community or someone else has mentioned you in the community. So it keeps them coming back. The notifications keep them coming back to the community. And that's a huge, huge part of having a successful membership. So there you have it. That's functionally how you set up a membership, in my opinion, inside of Kajabi. Two things, one, let me know in a comment below if you're doing it like this or if you have any other questions related to how to set up a membership in Kajabi, we could talk about that in another video. And two, if you haven't already jumped on the free trial, I've got a 28 day free trial for you. Like I said before, grab your link below at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi, get double the free trial, get a bunch of exclusive bonus training videos from the whole team at Kajabi to help you use Kajabi well. And it also supports me if you become a paying Kajabi member, if you use my special link and it doesn't cost you anything extra. How cool is that? You can say thank you by just using my link. Hope you're having a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe. Good luck with building your memberships. And I'll see you in another video real soon.